Hi, this is Chris. I'm going to show you how to dynamically load your Land School class list. First thing you need to do is get Land School up and running here. Should be this little kind of halo icon down here. Click on this. It will show that you're not viewing any students because there's no students in your class. The menu bar on my screen doesn't show all of my options, but right up here there's a little thing to show the rest of my lists and I need to go to the class list and then I'm going to click on load dynamic class list. Okay in here we're going to choose that we want to use a comma separated value file a CSV file and I happen to already have the location the location that all teachers need to put in for their land school uh, folders. Okay it's going to give me an error message because I need to select Active Directory Name. As soon as I select that, my classes will show up in here. And when I click a class, my list of students will be in here. This list is current as of today, September 5th. And this list will be updated as kids move in and out of classes. Now if I want to go ahead and start this class, I just click Load. This class you can see has 20 kids in it. Pre-Calc has 21. Just click Load. It will take a moment and then those screens will show up in here. Right now none of these students are at school so all of these show up as missing students. One of the most important parts of this is when you're done with class you have to make sure that you go back into this class list menu and dismiss the current class. If you don't dismiss your students when they go to the next class and the teacher tries to bring them into their class they will be unavailable. So dismiss current class and that will release them from your control and they'll be back available.